Hello guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. After a long time, I'm doing morning thoughts episode. Uh, I woke up quite early today, right now, 6.30 here in the morning. It's about 15, 16 degrees outside, heavy fog. I'm gonna be going for morning walk after a while. Just had breakfast, so I thought positive frame of mind worked out a little bit. Uh, just gonna be talking about, uh, it's about fragrances, but not really a fragrance review. After this episode, second episode, I'm gonna be perhaps doing Elisa fragrance review, okay? So these two would be uh, on my uh, review list. But today I want to discuss something like uh, fragrance users versus fragrance collectors, okay? Uh, I think I'll have five to six points I want to discuss. So hopefully you're doing good. My scent of the morning was this one, Givenchy Gentleman Only. I think this is called Absolute. It's not picking up because of the light. Yeah, it's, it's a bit faint there. This is a 15 ml miniature or 10 ml, I don't remember. But this fragrance I had for five almost four to five years now i always thought of buying a full bottle the black bottle beautiful bottle this whole line of Givenchy is very very good so this fragrance is very nice spicy cinnamon and uh like vanilla sort of bomb for winter so that's why i'm rocking it it's, it's could be a little bit spicy too spicy for someone's liking i did not like it at first that much but uh cold weather actually is growing on me so uh, let's start the discussion hopefully you are in good health and you are doing okay so I've been noticing a few things, you know, I do these videos from time to time uh, while observing my group members, other people, what happens in other groups and even reviewers at times I pick up uh, topics, right? So this one topic I uh, figured out from, uh, let's say, what you call like real life people, members, what they go through, their dilemma. You know, I notice a lot of people, the new people, they come in, they act differently. Let's say, let's start here that they get confused very easily, like they think, they have to start at the best, you know? That's what, that's what happened with me as well. When I started doing my collection 2014, 15, um, I felt like I had to get the best of the best of the best. You know, there are good reviewers, so I used to take out top five of every single reviewers, and then I used to collect every single fragrance which are common or uh, suggest as the best, like some of the big fragrance with Diorome Intense, uh, Chanel Alirome Sport O Extreme, or Edition Blanche, you know, something in the line with those Versace Purom, uh, fragrance like the Men in Black, all these things. But uh, what I realized was before you know, if you get into this game really, really seriously, you'll end up going like so many more than you ever will need. And that's the point, you become a collector. Sometimes you become a reviewer because your passion takes you there. But it's a mixture of passion and craze and uh, sometimes insanity, <laughs> I don't know what's the word. Uh, yeah, it's a mix of a lot of crazy things, but it takes you to different places. So uh, what is the difference between a collector and a regular user? So I think uh, there are two sides in the market or in the world. One side is uh, where the company is, like where they produce fragrances, they sort of like offer to you and you buy with your money, you are a consumer, it's a consumer product. We cannot overlook this in the name of art, okay? or beauty of art, like fragrance is part of art and culture. Yes, they are, but they are not for free, right? You have to really spend your money, hard-earned money, and it's an expensive game, uh, just like watches, you know, like attire, shoes, sports shoes, uh, anything you have, like, you know, it's not as expensive as cars, but you would actually be surprised if you're new that how much a fragrance can actually cost. Uh, it will cost a lot of money, even go up to thousands of dollars. So, uh, for regular users, you know, they are like in the one side, like they're the consumers and they're like the buyers, like companies. So, uh, yeah, you go to the market, you look at shops and your, you know, your hobby takes you there. You test out a few fragrances, you see some reviews and you start like, wow, I like that. And you try 10 different kind of fragrances and then you start a collection. You have five to 10 fragrances at that point. Uh, you feel like, hmm. I'm getting interested in this thing because people talk about fragrance. It's a, a talking trend. It's a place in the groups where you post your fragrance. You can share your sentiments and people, you get to know people, meet people, like-minded people or people from other, you know, side, side of the world. They have different tastes. They'll tell you something new. So this is how you get into the game. But a uh, good thing about just regular users, are they don't really care for notes, beauty of fragrance. They just use what they like to their nose very important and this should be the case for every single fragrance user out there okay this is what i feel but nowadays it goes so much more okay so when you're just regular user you're just happy you just buy dior sauvage or like a david of cool water use it on every single day 
uh, any single purpose, gym, work, walking out, like with your dog, uh, or meeting your friends, shopping, your signature scent is just one fragrance, like say Old Spice, okay? And you just love that fragrance all the time on you. People know you by that fragrance. Moment they smell cool water in the room, they know that David is here, you know? So who's David? The guy who's wearing the David of cool water. But uh, what happens in the next stage is that when you see you unfortunately get into this group, okay? And uh, groups or you start watching reviewers, uh, things start taking different turns, you know? I'm not gonna say it's a bad turn or wrong turn like the film, but sometimes it's proven if you don't have leash on your fragrance game, <laughs> what happens is you can go very dark places, you know, like uh, you'll start having troubles with your lives, okay? So let me start with my first point. Uh, why the fragrance collectors start collecting? I think it's something to do with passion. It's a lot of passion it takes. Like you just explore different things. You start exploring notes like tonka bean, vetiver, and you just start liking, you know, like the similar kind of fragrance in that genre. Uh, and you like different things at different times. Sometimes you like freshies, sometimes you like your darker fragrances. And you just have this thing that you truly love. It's nothing to do with business that you want to resell or you want to decant, nothing of that. You just want to collect for your own happiness and you just really serious about your fragrance every day it's a big part of your life so that's first reason why collectors collect second thing i would say uh need okay so here is the difference between the collectors and uh like regular user and collectors need means i was talking about the regular guy regular joe uh, joe biden <laughs> no uh he's he's the president right now he's not the regular joe he's not the average joe he's he's the president salute so the regular guy he just needs like one fragrance to smell good he needs a deal you know for you know just smelling overall nice and pleasant around people in his workplace everyday life but other side some people need to have a collection a collection means they have to have certain fragrances they really feel are essential for them like uh, i need to have dolce and gabbana the one edp la nuit de l'homme i need to have a dior sauvage at least 50 fragrances that i really need so this need basically to them is a need even though it's just a luxury but people start putting emphasis on collecting so i think is that need also sometimes where uh, you know people start collecting from uh, third thing is uh, here is the thing uh, why the not everybody should be a collector okay it's a mixed sort of discussion uh, i think not everybody needs to be a collector okay, honestly speaking yes you need to smell different things it becomes addictive after a while you need to try different notes and you get bored after a while with the same fragrance but if you have a small house or a you know everybody's house has a limited space right even if you have a palace you don't have like like infinite space right so what's going to happen with you is that when you collect a lot of fragrances you're going to eventually run out of space with your boxes or bottles and you'll actually have to remove a lot of things or get rid of a lot of things which i did recently i threw away at least a thousand boxes you know over the years i collected the perfume boxes some of them were empty bottles and stuff i threw them away just to create space but still my room actually is half of the room is taken over by fragrance guy, a small room, okay? Say you have a bigger room, okay? But eventually what's going to happen if you buy so many more than what you really need, uh, you will actually not be able to find your fragrances that you want to wear. After two years, you'll find like, oh, there's a fragrance right there, you know, in the dust and you haven't reached for two, three years and you just really find that point, you get depressed, you know? So be mindful of the thing that buy the things that you really, really want and keep in, a, keep in your mind that, you know, keep them accessible like you can access every single fragrance like for me they can collect dust but i know where my fragrances are so i can rotate and stuff okay so make sure you are aware of this space thingy okay if you run out of space that would be like a burden okay next thing is uh fragrances you never use i see many people they buy fragrances um, based on hype and second thing is to impress others i keep saying this uh, you don't do that please don't do that uh, sincere request because when you try to impress others, like, hey, I bought like a haul, eight fragrances. And here are all the high fragrances that I bought from this page. I tag my brother who I bought it from, salute and all that. Yes, for the time being, the post, uh, like you show the post, share the post, everybody gives like thumbs up and like. But that's where that ends if you don't use that fragrance. So if you don't have that mindset that, you know, you actually like, you think you're going to like that fragrance and not just hype. And you used it, you bought it and used it. That's the perfect way to complete the circle but you know moment you go uh buy a fragrance based on impulse buy or hype 
next day after two sprays you're selling your 70 dollar cologne for 25 dollars there's nothing more painful than that i have seen many brothers please don't make this rookie mistake you know i'm gonna be telling a little bit harsh but uh buy fragrance that your nose really likes test the fragrance before buying do not blind buy these things are important you know if you like a reviewer it's okay you can trust them it's okay but you have other costs in your life as well isn't it you have your car you have your family you have your rentals uh shopping all that even after doing all that if you have extra savings then only play the game do not put it on the credit card bill you know thinking like hey it's okay you know i can recover because your earning is always limited remember that so unless you are a fragrance reviewer if you are really really into this game like this is serious part of your life like i took it since 2016 i took it as my part of my life i work with it i don't have a monetized channel but i still work with fragrance i have a small page so i want to keep making content this is, means a lot to me so if you're not the guy who's going to be reviewing or going to be like thinking like long term and you did you didn't think it through don't be a big collector just be a fragrance user and collect the ones let's say 20 30 that's fine do not go more than 50 or 100 i think 100 is a lot 50 would be just great and 50 of your most favorite fragrance they actually will do serve the purpose okay next is uh last point okay uh, I was talking about passion and what fragrance reviewers do. I know, I'll tell you one example of this reviewer. You perhaps will not know him because he's from Bangladesh. He lives in Germany. Um, people in Bangladesh know him. His name is Brother Mehdi. Okay. I'm just going to mention his name, Mehdi Asambhai. So this guy, he started off his channel a long time back. You know, he's just a Bangladeshi guy. He has a lot of love for fragrances and he reviews in Bengali in depth. I saw him starting his channel and then keep going until today. The sad part is he does not get views, does not get subscribers, and he does not promote himself that much, but he shares his reviews, right? It's very useful for people in Bangladesh, like our country people who do not speak English or English is not their first language. These guys' reviews help a lot of people, both male and female fragrances. But the thing with him is that despite not getting subscribers of thousands or views in thousands, he did not stop. He keeps every now and then go to shop shopping mall he buys a fragrance that is hard to find uh discontinued lesser known uh he reviews them in bengali and i enjoy his channel do you know why because his passion is real many people came in the game and they wanted to show others like i'm such a big you know uh, influencer i'm such a big uh, frag head and i know a lot but actually they did not have that much intention apart from uh just getting famous overnight which never happens you understand one thing uh, any line you work it might look flashy and easy to do let's say when i started decanting people thought it's an easy thing people started buying fragrance like crazy they start opening the page and they started putting crazy prices and everything but most of them actually could not succeed because they didn't understand the business they did not understand trend they didn't understand uh, how to survive in the long run or how to continue in long run they just want like overnight success quick buck or they open the channel after five, six reviews, they run out of gas because they don't want to spend any more money. So know this, this is a, a choice. When you make a choice, you have to sacrifice. There's opportunity cost in economics. We say opportunity cost to get something, you have to sacrifice something else, okay? So if you don't have the mentality to be able to sacrifice your money and your time that you spend with the fragrance and you explore things and you after going through 20, 30 meal, you let others know, if you don't have the patience, you just want to like buy, buy, buy and then show others. And then after a while, you get like bored, run out of space. And then you feel like nah, the game, this game is not worth it. I have 50 bottle haul, but I'm not happy. So if you're not happy at the end of the, end of the day, uh, there's no point of doing this game. OK, this game is beautiful. Uh, trust me, I know I've gone through hardship. I've gone through places where I, my addiction took me. The addiction is very, very bad at times. Uh, after a while, you have to really buy something to be happy again. It becomes materialistic. Uh, and then I actually went through depression. I went into debt. I, you know, wanted to quit my fragrance game and I couldn't manage my work or life anymore. I went way beyond. Okay. So if that's going to happen with you, that's going to be really, really bad. But if you have good grip on the game and you have like, you know, like fragrances that you really use, like, and it has history with you and it's not just about showing, it's not just fake, it's real. And that's the moment you'll actually enjoy the game. You'll actually be better reviewer better understanding person of a fragrance or appreciative than many others because many other out there are not 
really real. They don't understand fragrance. So they just think like buying a fragrance because I have money, even if you have no financial crisis, but you have money and you buy. After a while, you most of your bottles are full by Killian's, Zerjoff, Creed's, Amouage, all full bottle. You never used it. That's a waste. That's that's a complete waste of your time and your money. So make sure this is what my humble request is. Every now and then I make these videos, you know, like uh, some people make fun of you when you get into the fragrance game and you start a page. They're fine when you give them free content, free stuff. But the moment you actually start a business, people feel jealous. They feel, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, insecure or something. If you start getting subscribers or views, they start attacking you. There'll be a lot of cases like that. So if you're not strong enough to go through those, you know, I get bothered as well. Like some people always like they're uh, putting negative comments, dislikes and everything. I take sometimes, you know, like I get hurt, but nowadays it doesn't bother me at all because I know what work I'm doing. I'm doing something for the community. Um, I'm not making money from my videos, but I have done a lot of reviews, 2,400 reviews. You know, it's like to think of it, it's crazy. But if your love takes you somewhere, it will be meaningful. I think, you know, at times, you know, I, I want to take a break. But at the same time, when I look back at the contents I create, I want to create so much more. So you really have to have the love. Do you have the love uh, for creating uh, your, like starting a new journey? That's the moment you should start it. If, it. if you don't feel it from inside, don't do it to impress others. You'll end up losing a lot of money and time and you'll regret it, which is going to be the worst thing. Thank you for watching. Time. I think those are the time, things I want to just discuss a little bit. And now time to move on to the reviews. Then I'll go for the morning walk. See you soon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.